right? So you have to read this Bible, read about your heritage, man. You gotta find yourself, right? Because that's the missing piece, right, that you need, right? Uh, you try to put all the other pieces to life together, but the missing piece that you need is who you are, right? So go and find that, go and find out who you are, right? Then that way you'll know who your God is and that he's your God and your God alone, right? So, brother, be safe and be easy out here, brother. I've seen y'all videos before. I like y'all. Y'all oh, praise to the Lord. Ah, praise. Oh, praise to the Heavenly Father, man. Be safe, man. We're waking our people up. A uh, contrary, right, to all the hate, right, back talk and gang saying that we get, right? We right. wake our people up and our people love us. So Oh, uh, I said we street teaching and doing music to educate. All praise, I had this gift in second grade. Why I say they upgraded the murder from catching fades. Let's just say you niggas is weak in seven days. Cause how a nation come kidnap you and make you slaves. Then separate the children and parents, change their names. No Damon Wayne for generations was made the pain. And we kill each other, but when it's done, we don't say a thing. You niggas tripping. Well, in other words, y'all niggas Christian. Worship white Jesus when scriptures give. His description and shout out to my kindred that's really living was written keeping laws that was given instead of willfully sinning i love saying christ coming back this is with vengeance all we gotta do is endure like it's an entrance rehearse the righteous act so spiritually it's a scrimmage and that real game start when the missiles pass the defenses let's get it i'm chilling it's scary but it's thrilling never trust the opposition they come near me then i'm peeling like aren't you glad we no longer killing and drug dealing but instead we out here healing no more feeling up them prisons, we almost at the ending, and now I don't care who like me, it's sore strokes for them folks, cause they scared to fight me, and you in sin, cause you clutching on that hand tightly, calling on the Lord, you get ignored like scam likely, step to the set, you getting checked like a pair of Nikes, Sakari heavy, in these streets you better tread lightly, and real Jews don't follow behind clones, we just waking up the dead in the valley of dry bones, all pray. Colossians, Colossians 2 and 8. Right, they got different, uh, you know, philosophies, and the thing is, is that you got our people, they believe in God, right? They grow up believing in God, but then all of a sudden, they go to these schools, they go to these colleges, right? And then they just all of a sudden stop believing in God. Why? Because of the white man being the devil. That's why. That's why our people can wear pants off their ass, right? So, what you got? It's the book Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Where? Lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Right, so this is what we out here doing is we out here waking our people up to who they are. Right, that they're God's chosen people. You see that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're the greatest people on this earth. Right, and that's something that we need to be proud of. Right, because we're not just niggas and spicks. Read it from the top, up. It's the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world. Right, after the rudiments of the world, right? After the tradition of man, right? And this man being Esau, right? The white man, right? He does spoil our people, right? Giving them different philosophies and giving them different understandings, right? An uh, understanding that God didn't give them, right? So read this. This is the understanding that God gave our people. Read that. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 8. For ye were sometimes darkness. Right, our people were sometimes in darkness, but come on. But now are ye light in the Lord. But now are you a light of the Lord, right? When you keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, right? And had the fear of the Heavenly Father, and had the faith of Hamashiach, come on. Walk as children of the light. Right, our people gotta walk as children of the light, right? Even though we're around children of darkness, right? You see that, brother? You see how you're around children of darkness? You see that? We have to wake our people up. Come on. Oh, verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is, is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Right. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, right? That's what we're doing. We're proving what's acceptable unto the Heavenly Father, right? And we're coming out here to rebuke our people and rebuke our people in their understanding, right? One of their understanding is that God loves everybody, right? This is a fantasy, right? Because if God loved everybody, why would he give the Egyptians as a ransom, right, for the children of Israel, right? Giving them up as a ransom, right? <laughs> if, if, Somebody child have to die for another family child to live, right? How can that 
How can you say that, that God loves everybody? Read this. Re read this real quick. Read John 3, 16. It's the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Right, so the Bible says, brother, you do you believe in the Bible? Right, so the so the Bible says, for God so loved the world, right, right that he gave his only begotten son. Right, so let's look at this again. Read this again now. Book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Right, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right, it said for God. Who is he the God of? Joel 2 and 27. Right, hold that John, let me get uh, Luke. Luke 1 and 67. Right, sister, don't you believe in the Bible, sister? You do believe in the Bible, but you don't believe it when young brothers are teaching it. That's when you don't believe in the Bible, huh? Because it, it, gets, it gets weird to you because we're not 80 years old. Hold up, let me get let me get Psalms uh, 2 and 8 real quick. Real quick, let me get that real quick. Psalms 2 and 8 fast, right? Let me get that. Right, because it's all good when your 70 year old pastor is teaching it. Right, like, uh, maybe. Uh, no, it's not. No, uh, 8, 8 and 2, 8 and 2. Yeah, so it's all good. Right, when your pastor is teaching it, but then when the Lord put the spirit on a young man, right, a young man to not kill his own, right, to not kill his own, right, but to teach people the right way, now all of a sudden that's not good. We'll read this real quick, come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 8, verse 2. Out of the mouth of babe. No, out of the mouth of old heads. Out of the mouth of babe. No, out of the mouth of these pastors that's 70 years old. Out of the mouth of babes. Out of the mouth of babes. And suckling. Has thou ordained strength because of thine enemy. Right. God has given strength to these young brothers. Right. Right. And rightfully so. Because why? Your old heads have felt us. Right. So rightfully, rightfully so. How do you think that these uh, young ladies became whores and thoughts? Right? Because of your old heads. Right? Because Auntie wanted, right, her husband and a dude on the side. That's why that's 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 why your niece became a little thotty. You see that? Because you you wanted to have your husband and you wanted to have your cookies on the side. Right? So now the Lord killing our people. Right, read again, now. The book of Psalm chapter eight, verse two. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies. Right, y'all young brothers be strong, right? Because you got all his that think and don't have faith for you, right? But the Heavenly Father got faith for you, man. Right. Right, so go back to John. John 3 and 16. Read that. Come on. It's the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. Right, it says, so for God. Right, so for God so loved the world. Right, y'all think that God is for everybody, but that's a damn lie. So right. read this, because it said, for God. Who is he the God of? Right? Hey, my uh, my boy, my boy, uh, it says God. Who was, who was God? Oh, okay, okay. You want to act like you're deaf, but you will be deaf. Right, right. so let me get Luke, let me get Luke 1 and 67. Read that real quick. Who's this he the, book, the God of? This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Yeah. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. That I am in the midst of the whole world. I'm in, a, I'm in the midst of Israel. That I am in the midst of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Come on. And that I am the Lord, your God. No, I'm the Lord, everybody God. I am the Lord, your God. Right, so the so-called white man lied to our people. God is only the God of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Oops, come on. And I, and none else. And everybody. None else. Right, and what? None else. Right, and none else. That's what the Bible say. I mean, look, we only read in the Bible. And if we get persecuted for reading the Bible, so what? We what you got, uh, yeah, Luke. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 67. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying... Right, this John the Baptist's uh, dad, right? He was filled with the Holy Spirit, right? So he's not going to lie. Come on. Saying, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of everybody. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Right, so the Bible says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Go back to John 3 and 16, right? So we established who he's the God of. Right, he is the God of the Israelites. Read it again, huh? It's the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right, so the Bible says, for God so loved the world. Right, the world. Let me get uh, Wisdom of Solomon, 18. Right, let me get uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 45. Right, Wisdom of Solomon, 18 and verse 4. Right, it says, for God so loves the world. 
right? What world is it talking about? Hold on, slot it, brother. Right, what world is it talking about? Read this real quick. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18. Right, chapter 18. Start here, 24. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 24. For in the long garment was the whole world. Right, in the long garment, right, in the priestly garments was the whole what? The whole world. What's the whole what? The whole world. Right, I'm sorry, my boy, you didn't fit in that. Read it again. For in the, for in, for in the long garment was the whole world. Right, for in the long garment is the whole world. Right, you see that? Like, uh, these people is insane. Right, got a damn dog on her back like a baby. Like, this is crazy out here. Right, and the crazy part is that because she Asian, she might just put them in the damn microwave. Right, and cook them up. Right, that may just be supper, right, for her children later on. So read again, I, come. For in the long garment was the whole world. In the row, in the, in the four rows of the stones was the glory of the, of the father, it's like of the father's grabbing. Right, of the glory of the father. Who's the glory of the father? Right, Yasharala. Right, that's the glory of the father. Read that, Isaiah 45. Let me see that. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded. World without end. What world? World without end. Right, so Israel is that world without end. Let me go back to John. John 3 and 16. Right, so we know who he's the God of, right? Right, we know, we know who world, what world he came from. Matter of fact, look at the definition of world in that dictionary book real quick. Right? Matter of fact, uh, uh, look up Luke. Luke 2 and 1. Right, let's get that. Luke 2 and 1. Drop that Isaiah. Right? Luke 2 and 1. Let's see this real quick. Read this real quick. Luke 2 and 1. It's the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 1. Brother, listen up. Brother, uh, go back to John real quick. Go back to John. Brother, you believe in the Bible? Huh? Do you believe in the Bible? You don't know? Was you, you raised on the Bible? You come up closer, brother. You, you was raised in the Bible? Let me, let me, let me ask you, did you ever hear this verse before? Read this, read this real quick. 3 and 16. It's the book of St. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Brother, have you ever heard that verse before? Um, no, not that I know of, no, no. Right, so this, this, so this verse, it says, for God so loved the world, right? People say that, so for God so loved the world that he loves everybody, right? But we're saying that this is a contradiction because due to the fact of many passages in the Bible where he says specifically that he only has love for Israel. Let's go back to Joel's. Uh, I'll hold this. Joel's, Joel's, back to Joel's 2 and 27. Because we just want to prove a point. Brother, what's your uh, father nationality, if you don't mind me asking? Father, what, uh, your father nationality. I'm not sure what you mean. Like, uh, his, his ethnic background. His race. Uh, he's black. He's black. He's a black man. So that's what we're doing. We come to give these people that's on this side, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, we come to give them uh, their identity because they go around and they call themselves a crayon out of the crayon box, right? So if you're the black man, you have to find me who the green man is, right? Since you're the black man, you have to find me who the yellow man is. Oops, oops, it's that person with the chinky eyes. Sorry about that. So you have to go and find me who these other colors is. That's what you got to do. But it doesn't make sense because you're not black. Your book bag is black, but your skin is brown. You see that? So this is all right the mind trap that these races put us in right but we come to liberate and wake our people come on read this come this is the book of Joel chapter 2 uh chapter 2 and verse 27 and ye shall know that i'm in the midst of israel that ye shall know that i'm in the midst of israel that's one group of people come on and that i am the lord your god that he's everybody god your god, your god. And my people, uh, and, so like, and none else. And what? And none else. And none else. He says he is nobody else God. Come on. And my people shall not be ashamed. Right. So our grandparents lied. Right. He's only your God. Right. Go to Amos. Drop that. Go to Amos. Amos 3 and 1. Let me get it, bro. Come on. So go to Amos 3 and 1. 
right? Read that real quick. Amos 3 and 1. We're not going to hold you, bro. What you got? Classes? You got classes to attend? No. Are you just getting off from school? Yeah. All right, so, you know, now we're going to feed you with some. I see you got food in this bag, but we're going to feed you with some spiritual knowledge, brother. Come on. All right. This is the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear, the, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. No, I guess everybody. O children of Israel. Right, so God is speaking a word against the children of Israel. One race, right, which is this race that's on this board right here. Come on. Against the whole family. Against the whole family, come on. Which I brought up out of the land of Egypt. Just like just like Kanye West said, we are the descendants of Moses. The family that I brought up from the land of Egypt saying what? Saying. You only, what God said? You, you only, what God said? You, you only. only. Right, so God said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Right, so God said he only knows these people. Out of everybody he created, he only knows them. Just like how you can have a lot of different pairs of shoes, but you favor one more than the other, right? So how can you have this level of emotion, but God doesn't have that? You will be more superior to God. Right, but this is how the trap that people put you in, right? No, God can't have favoritism, right? Only we can have it. We created favoritism, not God. That's a man-made thing. Come on, come. Therefore, therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Right, so God said, therefore, I'm gonna put you in ghettos, slums, right? The hoods, right? The projects right over there. Uh, oh no, back up north. Right, so this is what God said he's going to do to our people for disobeying them, right? But now we have to turn to the Lord in fear and sincerity. Drop that, get Romans 13 and 11, right? Let this brother go on this way. Romans 13 and 11. Because we are in the last days, brother, right? And we need soldiers to stand up for the Lord. Come on. This is the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And what? Is it like it? And that knowing that, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Right. So the Bible says now is high time to awake out of sleep. Why? Because a lot of times people are sleep woken, like woke, like they're like what us that Tom Cruise movie, the eyes wide shut. Sometimes people's eyes are so wide it's actually shut because it's so wide to the confusion that's going on that they're sleep, right? That they're sleep to the chemtrails. That they're asleep to the poison that they're putting in the water, right? That they're asleep to the GMO food, right? That, to, that they're asleep against the hate crimes that's committed against these people. Come on, God. So I wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation that nearer than we believe. Right, for now is our salvation. Right, our, it didn't say everybody's. It said now is our salvation nearer than we believe. So, brother, this is what we got to do. We got to turn to the Lord in fear and sincerity because the day is his last day for Brother Gashon. Right, uh, get his brother a flyer. Gashon, let his brother get a flyer. Right, so this is our contact on there. Right, this is the websites. Because, brother, what you can do to, you know, get a bigger chest, bigger arms, right, you can uh, do push ups, chin ups, and stimulate your body. But what you got to do is stimulate your mind. Right, so you have to read this Bible. Read about your heritage, man. You gotta find yourself, right? Because that's the missing piece, right? That you need, right? Uh, you trying to put all the other pieces to life together, but the missing piece that you need is who you are, right? So go and find that. Go and find out who you are, right? Then that way you'll know who your God is, and that He's your God and your God alone, right? right. So brother, be safe and be easy out here, brother. I see y'all videos before. I like y'all. Y'all. Oh, praise to the Lord. Uh, oh, praise. praise. Man. Up with all right, oh, praise oh, to the heavenly praise. Father, man. Be safe, man, we're waking our people up. A contrary, right, to all the hate, right, back talk and gang saying that we get, right? We wake our people up and our people love us. So let's go back to John. Go back to John, uh, John 3 and 16. Yeah, this is it right here, Zay. To my alliance.